none is more evident than the rivalry between the 49ers and the Cowboys. Despite early season injuries, the 49ers have reeled off seven straight wins and own the NFC's best record. But critics still feel the 49ers need to validate themselves with a win against Dallas. Well, the Cowboys' yesteryear can be recalled, but not recaptured. Battered and bruised, the Cowboys may not be the premier team they have been for the last several years, but they are still the benchmark of the NFC East. And today's pivotal game could be a true test of where their season is headed. An absolute gorgeous day as you look at three com part packed for the match with the Dallas Cowboys and it is perfect. One thing you can't blame today when the 49ers face the Cowboys is the weather because there is no wind. It just couldn't be better. Pat Summerall here with John Madden and let's talk first about the Dallas Cowboys. Their record is four and four. Yet they have been that they have been stumbling. They've been criticized. Uh, what can they do John in your opinion to right the ship. Well you know I think I think they're playing scared uh, as I said earlier and they and they worry too much. I think they just have to go out and just let it go and go play because they're not as good as they used to be but they still have the parts. I remember when we used to talk about the Dallas Cowboys all the way back when Norv Turner was the offensive coordinator and he says you know all we have to do is hand it damn it and throw it to Michael. And you know they still have Emmett, they still have Michael Irvin, they still have Troy Aikman throwing. The offensive line is a little shaky. They have to be able to pick up blitzes, but I think they can do those things. Now on defense, I think they have to worry about the run. You know, anytime, anytime you play the 49ers, you have to worry about Steve Young running because that's always a big thing. And now the 49ers have a running game too, and they need Darren Woodson today. Darren Woodson didn't play for him last week. He's going to try and play today and they need a healthy Darren Woodson. Yeah, he'll certainly help matters. Now the 49ers lost Jerry Rice in the first first game of the season the best receiver perhaps ever to play the game of pro football and it's hard to say that you can become a better team by losing the best player but that might be the case with San Francisco. Yeah we well they they become a more balanced team. I mean they not only lost, lost Jerry Rice but they also have a new coach in Steve Mariucci so they're going to bring about a new offense and, and what I like about it there's a heck of a lot of balance here and talking to Steve Young yesterday he said you know we never know who the star is going to be he said we just throw it to the open guy defense is going to be a little tough for him today because they're playing without their best defensive player in Bryant Young and they know that they have to stop the run now the other thing that they're going to do is they're going to match up Rod Woodson on Michael Irvin so you talk about two big physical guys going after each other you have it out there at wide receiver today. So coming up it's the Dallas Cowboys and the San Francisco 49ers from San Francisco and John and I'll be back for the opening kickoff when Fox NFL Sunday continues. The stage is set the sellout crowd the match long heralded between the San Francisco 49ers and the Dallas Cowboys and by the way in the last eight games the last eight meetings between these two teams the teams the team that has turned it over the fewest number of times in each game has won. Remember the last time they played here and Elvis Gerbach was in there. Yeah. Steve Young had been knocked out. And he threw an interception to Fred Strickland and the Cowboys won that one in overtime. Thompson kicks it off barefooted in the direction of Herschel Walker and Brock Marion. It's Walker who fumbles it and then picks it up. And Walker gets, gets back to the 20. And let's have a look at the Dallas offense. Quarterback and led by Troy Aikman, four and four in his career against the 49ers. In front of him, Hegeman, Newton, Shiver, Allen, and Eric Williams. Emmett Smith and Herschel Walker, who starts at fullback, Miller and Irvin wide, and Eric Bjornson at tight end. From the 20. Hageman in place of Tourney at left tackle. And Aikman the quarterback. Bjornsson starts in motion and Aikman goes back to throw it. No place to throw it. 
Let's look at the 49er defense. Dolman Stubblefield, Washington. His first start inside. Roy Barker, the other defensive end. The three linebackers, Ken Norton Jr., former Cowboy, Plummer, and Woodall. And the secondary, Darnell Walker in place of Pope. Hanks McDonald and Rod Woodson, who will shadow Michael Irvin. And that's where he goes to the top of your picture. Walker, the fullback. Emmett Smith is deep. Smith for four. You know, one thing we said that the Dallas Cowboys have to run, and of course, when they run, Emmett Smith has to do the majority of it. But they're missing a big, big part of that running offense in Daryl Johnston. You know, without having the moose in there, they run those lead plays, and they're not like the moose lead plays when Herschel Walker is leading in there as he did on that last one. The moose had surgery on Friday, was out of the hospital in Dallas on Saturday, and seems to be doing very well. Aikman straight back. As is caught by Eric Bjornsson. That's a little bit. Well, it's very close to a first down. I better not say anything. That was an interesting formation, Pat. They land, they they lined up Bjornsson outside. See, he's the outside most receiver. Now he's going to come back in motion. You see, he comes back in motion. Now he becomes a slot. Now he's going to come up and he's going to run an out right there on Merton Hanks. And the ball was thrown right at the 30-yard line. Just barely enough, but it is a first. Look at the way Eric Williams gets in the huddle. I like that. Everyone else kind of has their hands on their knees. Eric Williams, a big right tackle, he takes a knee. <laughs> takes a knee to get in the huddle. Two tight end set up this time. That's Anthony Miller in motion, and Aikman back to throw it. He hits Miller, and Miller is taken back to the 30. Darnell Walker made the stop. That only gained a couple of yards. They should be back. Nikki Sualua is a Dallas fullback. Emmett Smith gets the carry. Hit by Norton. And did Nikki Sualua get a block? That's what they put him in there for. You know, we, we said that Herschel Walker isn't, isn't Moose Johnston, but Nikki Sualua is going to come in here, and, and he's going to take on Roy Barton. And you're going to see right there. Watch Barton. Watch Sualua right there. Boom! And Barton goes right on his back. Now, that is a block. When you can take a fullback and put him on a big defensive end. And Roy Barker is a big defensive end and put that big defensive end on his back. Now you're blocking. They list Sulua as 257 pounds. Three wide receivers this time on third down for the Cowboys. Here comes the blitz off the corner. Aikman gets it out in a hurry. And step Fred Williams who has become the third down target gets another Dallas first down. Two tight ends set up again. Jordan went in motion. Aikman goes back. Going deep. And he missed Anthony Miller. Anthony Miller looked like he might have tripped at the end, and there's a flag on the play. And that flag is, is not downfield where Anthony Miller was, where Anthony Miller tripped. Number 38, defense. Five yard penalty, first down. Darnell Walker. It was right, it was right there at the line of scrimmage. I'll tell you, watch what, 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 what Troy Aikman missed there. Eric Bjornson, he sees it there a while. Whoa. He was running up that seam, and he was wide open. Now, Merton Hanks was behind there in a zone, but there was a period of about 10 yards there where Eric Bjornson was running wide open. Walker in front of Emmett Smith this time. First down, Cowboys. To Emmett. Emmett Smith. Sifts his way for a pickup of a couple. Lee Woodall made the stop. Woodall found him. Billy Davis now comes in motion. And now comes back the other way. And Aikman gives the head to Emmett Smith. And Emmett Smith will get a Dallas first down at the 49er 40 before he's wrestled down by Rod Woodson. And he hit that plane. A great trap block by Nate Newton. You got to watch the left guard on this. You're always talking about Nate's too old, he's too this and that, but watch him come over here and trap right here. He's the guy that makes the hole. Watch the left guard when he pulls there. This is what a trap block is. You see, boom, right there. 
You see, that, again, that's also on Roy Barker. Yep. And Emmett Smith was right in behind Nate Newton, and he ran right off that block. First down, Cowboys at the San Francisco 40. Three wide receiver set up. They have mixed up their formation so far. Aikman back to throw it with time. Incomplete. Anthony Miller, the target covered by Walker. W who watched Tampa Bay come from behind to beat Indianapolis 31-28. Welcome to Three Com Park, San Francisco. This is Dallas' first possession. 49ers haven't had the ball yet. The pass complete to Anthony Miller from Aikman. Play number 10 of their opening drive. No score as yet, but the Cowboys have looked sharp. Sharper yeah, we, than we've seen them in a long time. And they're moving the ball around. I mean, we, we see him throw it to Bjornsson. We see him throw it to Anthony Miller. We see him throw it to the backs. He has yet to throw it to Michael Irvin, though. When we talk about that matchup, I know that John Marshall, the defensive coordinator of the 49ers, said he wants his big physical corner, which is Rod Woodson, on their big physical receiver, and that's what you have right up there on top. Third and three and two tight ends. Eight and back. Last time. To Bjornsson. You know, Aikman he isn't even looking out there at Michael Irvin, and I think Michael Irvin is starting to get a little frustrated because of it, because he does not have help. Rod Woodson is out there on a man-to-man. -man. Watch, watch Troy Aikman here. He is looking to his right side the whole way. He throws it to Eric Bjornsson. He doesn't even look in the left side. Now, here's the matchup that we're talking about. Michael Irvin against Rod Woodson. You see, and he has him there. I mean, for a step or two right there, and he's starting to get a little frustrated. I can feel it from here. Sualua in the backfield with Emmett Smith. And Emmett stopped for no gain. There at the 49er, 25 and a half yard line, that was Marvin Washington who made the stop. He's replacing Brian Young. Yeah, well, the 49ers have run out of defensive tackles because Brian Young is, is their you know, starting left tackle and you know, best of the bunch. And then their backup is Junior Bryant. He is also injured, although he may play today. So they had to move Marvin Washington in. It was a normal defensive end, although he played a little tackle for the Jets last year. Played inside, so it's not totally new to him. Emmett Smith goes in motion. Boy, how often do you see that? This has to be a pass. And here comes the blitz, and here comes Aikman on his back, hit by Stubblefield. Stubblefield came right up the middle. Once Emmett Smith left the backfield there was an open backfield there was no one back there so if, if, if you watch this now it's going to have to be a pass so the 49ers come on a blitz Dana Stubblefield makes a little move to the right no one blocks no him, one blocked him and he's right there watch Dana Stubblefield 94 by the time the tight end gets over there it's too late he is a big load but that formation with no backs in the backfield will tend to invite a blitz up the middle Third down, Aikman, Aikman retreats. And down he goes. This time by Kevin Green. Kevin Green just wicked Eric Williams. And Aikman slow to get to his feet. And I don't know that he's going to get to his feet. Now Aikman walks off okay, apparently. Kevin Green lined up on Eric Williams. And Eric Williams is a big tackle that you don't see get bull rush like that much. He just gets bull rushed. Look what Kevin Green did to Eric Williams there. That's took a him. shot you're not going to see a lot. Those two sacks took him Watch him right here. Range. He just gets underneath him. Pat, watch. He just straightens him right up and then gets off him and makes the sack on Troy Aikman. A heck of a rush by Kevin Green. Going back to punt and does. they let it bounce and it sails into the end zone. Aikman was shaken momentarily. Now heads for the sideline. Appears to be okay. First day, he had an MRI on Thursday. Then they gave him medication to get rid of the headaches. Garrison Hurst, the ball carrier, gets about six. Stopped by Brock Marion. Let's look at the 49er offense. Who watched Atlanta beat St. Louis 34-31. Welcome to the 49ers' first possession. First down, Garrison Hurst. 49er first down. Young back for his first fast attempt. Batted down. Batted down by Anderson, I believe. 
Troy Aikman on the sideline, and here is the hit on Aikman by Kevin Green. Well, you're going to see Kevin Green come from Troy Aikman's right side. He's working there against Eric Williams. He comes off, and Aikman started to throw the ball, had to hold it, and you see as he's driven into the ground, the first thing that hits the ground is his head. Second and ten. Flag on the play. Young gets to Floyd, but a penalty marker down. Aikman last week. Now that's where as Jimmy Jones came in and, and hit him right there, just helmet to helmet. And that was in the first half of the game. They took him in the locker room, and he said he thought he could play uh, after that. But just by those pictures and just looking at him, you knew that last week he can't play. And, and I don't know that he's going to be able to play now either. Remember, he was hit twice. Blitz first by Stubblefield, then that hit by Kevin Green. Yeah, and the, so and the Kevin Green one really got him because his head was just pile driven into the ground. Out of the backfield is Stokes. That's Owens. And Owens is slung down finally inside the Dallas 40 at about the 37 yard line by Darren Woodson. And that's Terrell Owens, a big wide receiver. I mean, when you can get a guy like this, and you just watch him right here. He becomes a slot now, and he runs a little slant, but he is so big and so strong. He's not going to outrun a lot of guys, but he's going to run over and through a heck of a lot of guys, as he just did there. They're going to bounce off him. He's bigger than that. Yeah, and you know, you just meet him. I mean, he looks like he's made of steel. I mean, he, is, he is so built, so strong and tight. Hand off to Floyd. He squirms down inside the Dallas 35. The word we have on Troy Aikman is that he lost a contact lens and we think he'll be back. That's a good news. I yeah. I'm a I'm a firm believer that that they have to study concussions more in this league and keep better records than they do and 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 have an objective program for concussions rather than just you know, whatever the guy says he feels. Second and eight. Young is picked off as he tried to screen it. It's Deion Sanders, and Sanders is upended by Young. Steve Young as Sanders picked off the screen pass and puts Dallas back in business. Watch this tackle here by Steve Young. He knows that he's the last guy, and, and if he doesn't get him, no one is going to get Whoa. Deion Sanders. Deion Sanders got help, and he was really upset with Tony Casillas, who should have blocked Steve Young. Heck of a tackle by Steve Young. Deion Sanders, who just intercepted that attempted screen pass by Steve Young in the 49ers. And Aikman is back at quarterback. Miller was the man in motion. Aikman to throw it. Mass caught inside the 30 by Bjornsson. Let's watch the interception again here. You see, when the wide receiver runs across, Deion Sanders becomes free. Then he reads a lineman pull it, so he comes up to play the screen. And what happens is Steve Young just throws it high. This is a poor throw. You see, the screen starts to develop. And again, the screen man was covered. So Steve Young, I think, was trying to throw it away because he just threw it over the guy's head. And he figured after I messed up a play like that, I'd better make a tackle. Hand off to Emmett Smith and Emmett to the 25 right now. The Fat and Jump. A double update from McDonald. That's Sherman Williams pounding down to the 12-yard line. And now you know what area the Cowboys are in, don't you? Yep. The old red zone or green zone, whatever it is. Yep, here's Sherman Williams here again with the I formation. And you're just going to see a lead here. Herschel Walker leads and gets a pretty good block yeah. on Ken Norton. He takes Ken Norton down. Norton goes down. And Sherman Williams goes, boom, right in behind him. You can look at this red zone offense. This has really been a problem. The Cowboys are 29th in the league in this area scoring touchdowns. First down, Williams. At the line of scrimmage by Gary Plummer. 
Second, third, and long. Walker in motion. Emmett Smith in the backfield with Aikman. To Emmett. Inside the five. But I'll tell you, and I've been saying this all year, and you know, part of it is a pass protection, part of it is a blitzing, but Troy Aikman has taken way too many hits this year. And you just look at that, that that's the thing, to throw off their timing. Everyone is saying every time Troy Aikman goes down, it goes back to pass, you got to put him on his back. And that was Roy Barker doing it that time. That's also Roy Barker limping off the field. And the 49ers are really weak in the defensive line. Sherman Williams replaces Emmett Smith. Walker's the other back. Aikman backpedals. Aikman touchdown, flag on the play. Michael Irvin was the target. 46 defense. Touchdown. touchdown. It's against Tim McDonald. But the Cowboys get on the scoreboard first. The interception by Sanders. The touchdown pass from Aikman to Irvin. What's well, Troy Aikman. He's backing out. Now when he backs straight out, that means he's trying to throw to his left. He was trying to throw to the left. Good pass protection because he didn't have anyone left. Then he went to the middle, and then he finally threw it out to his right to Michael Irvin. That was great pass protection, although Chris Dolman got there just after he threw the ball. Cunningham for the extra point. Bjornsson holding. Hellestre snapping. 7-0. The Cowboys lead the 49ers at 3 Com Park. San Francisco nothing 31 seconds remaining first quarter time of possession Dallas has had the ball 11 minutes 36 seconds 49ers only one possession 253 Toby going to kick off to a ways of K and Levy back deep short kick it will be Chuck Levy who might be the fastest of the 49ers. To the 29-yard line where Steve Young and the offensive unit will take over, trailing the Dallas Cowboys 7 to nothing. World's most enduring symbols, the Goodyear Blimp Eagle, based in Carson, California, has been providing these beautiful aerial pictures. 1997 marks the 72nd consecutive year that a Goodyear Blimp has flown over a major sporting event. Flag on the play. But you're going to leave. Well, I didn't expect to, uh, to see Blue Angels fly <laughs> by at eye level. Not yet, anyway. Garrison Hurst, the ball carrier, gets three yards. Stopped by Casillas. Nothing. The Cowboys over the 49ers. Pat Summerall with John Madden. 49ers have the ball at their own 27-yard line. Young back to throw it. The Owens incomplete. Coverage by Kevin Smith, who's upset about something. Well, uh, he's, he's upset me. That about Terrell Owens. He's saying that he's pushing him because it's going to be a real physical match. I mean, these are two big wide receivers. I can't touch him. He can't touch me. Listen. I can't touch him. He can't touch me. Well, Kevin Smith is, is setting it up so that he doesn't get called later. Yeah. What he's setting up is, you know, if he does touch him, that he wants to say that Terrell Owens is the guy who's doing the pushing, not him. Now, how does he know the defense? He never went to the huddle. Yeah. Neither he nor Deion Sanders go to the huddle. They just play their man. Here's Steve Young. Steve slides short of a first down. And they play their man pretty well because that time, Steve Young was trying to go to Terrell Owens again, and Kevin Smith had a man-to-man -man all over the field, and he was and he was right on him. He was like he was wearing him. Just watch it down here. Here they are. You see, he gets the bump. That's legal in the first five yards. Then he just covers him all the way. He's a little underneath, meaning that if Steve Young throws that ball, Kevin Smith was in position to intercept it. That's why Steve Young ran with it. Deion Sanders back to punt. Back to receive the punt. Good kick it is by... Tommy Thompson, Sanders has it at the 20. Shakes one, but only one. That was a perfect kick. They were trying to directional kick, which means you kick between the numbers and the sideline. The snapper, Randy Kirk, brought him down. Don't know if he is in possession of a ticket or not. Well, you know what happens is the, is the 49ers just reseated 
this offense so there's a lot of good feed and seed out there for these birds. They are close to danger. Right behind the Cowboy offensive unit. Eggman back to throw. Lost his one deep. Incomplete. No flag. Anthony Miller the intended receiver. Darnell Walker with him. Well, that's that's what they figure they have to go to. If they're going to work on someone, it's Darnell Walker. And like I said earlier, Anthony Miller is going to be the guy to do it. Darnell Walker is is right there with him. No, that's perfect coverage. I mean, he has he feels him. He knows where he knows where Anthony Miller is, and he knows where the ball is, and he knows where that pigeon is. Because one of the rules is you always cover your man and never step in the pigeon. <laughs> this is Emmett Smith. To about the 28 before he's pulled backwards by Ken Norton. Hammond on the sideline. Sherman Williams in his place. Third and five. Cowboys are five out of six on third down. Three wide receiver setup. No flags. Aikman. Sherman Williams makes the first down. Catch gets out to the four to the 49er to the Cowboy 38. You know, Stepford Williams has really, I think, on third yep. down become a Troy Aikman's favorite receiver. The third down man he has become. They have, you know, Anthony Miller, Michael Irvin, of course, they're the receivers. And on third down, they bring Stepford Williams in. He usually plays in the slot. But if you look at this, he's had 13 third down receptions, 11 of them for the first down. He can keep that up. That's a pretty good pace. So at some point, they're going to say, hey, on third down, we better watch old Stepford Williams. <laughs> at some point. On this one, as Sherman Williams was brought down before the play developed, but this is going to be against the 49ers. Aikman deep for Miller, knocked away at the last second by Tyrone Drakeford. Looked as if he had him. Now they're staying away from Michael Irvin. I think they feel, and, and he is upset. Remember I said earlier that, that I could just feel him getting frustrated. And you know it is because the game plan is to stay away from Michael Irvin, is to work against the other guys because Rod Woodson is on Michael Irvin. And just watch this. On the top, we have the quarterback. On the bottom, we have Anthony Miller. But what he does is he's spending too much time. Excuse me, there's Michael Irvin down there. You see, and he gets by Rod Woodson right there, and he wants the ball right now. And Troy Aikman didn't even look to that side. Williams by Norton. Stafford Williams, you look for him. Aikman calls a timeout. Barry Switzer viewing the proceedings from in front of the Cowboy bench. Again, the Cowboys six out of seven on third down in situations like this to get first downs. Aikman back to throw it. Pass is batted into the air and falls incomplete, and the Cowboys will have to punt. Going back to punt. Awayzake is back deep for the 49ers. Lawrence kicks a good one. Coming out of the sunlight to Awayzake. Down at about the 19 yard line by Dexter Coakley. There comes Emmett Smith back. He went in, as Pam said a moment ago, to be retaped. Left groin. He's walking pretty well, but that's not running. You know, for most of the first half on the sideline, they've been trying to stretch that out. Yeah. That's Garrison Hurst with the ball, stopped by Fred Strickland. Yeah, we talk about where we see big Nate Newton pull. Watch big old Kevin Gogan pull when here's another 330 pound guy and you get, you get him out there. This isn't the strength of his game, but no. he does block out a defense. Although that was played well where where the defender took him on Randall Godfrey took him on came off him and made the tackle. He blocks out the light as well as the defense. Here's Young back to throw it. Wheels it up. That's Randall Godfrey. Shot. That's the that's the second shot by Randall Godfrey. J.J. Stokes. And we just saw Randall Godfrey on the on the play before take on Kevin Gogan to make a tackle. And we see Randall Godfrey playing in a in a zone defense, just being free, and he catches J.J. Stokes coming on across. 
Judge Randall Godfrey is number 56. Here's J.J. Strokes coming on a crossing pattern. See all the way across the field, and right there you see Randall Godfrey. He was just in a zone. He was waiting, and he saw J.J. Stokes coming all the way. That'll make you change directions in a hurry. Tied there on 25. Here's Young. Gets it outside. That'll be enough first down for to Owens. Terrell Owens, as John Madden was saying earlier, is so big and strong. Here's Brent Jones. You just get it. He just falls. He's going to get first down. First down, San Francisco. Young will throw it on first. Being chased. Throws it away. Chased by Shantae Carver. Fun. Playing any Super Bowls that I know of. I can't remember if they did. The handoff to Hurst. Garrison Hurst picked up about four. Quickly on the stop. You know, on that play before, Steve Young was smart though and throwing the ball away. Because there is a rule that once you get outside the area of the two tight ends where they would normally line up on your offense, that you can throw the ball away if you throw it to the line of scrimmage. And he was getting rushed on that play. He ran outside that tight end box and just threw the ball away so he didn't have to take a loss. Third and six. Young back. Has time. Got it to Uweza K, and he won't get enough for the first down. Why throw it? Now well, that's what Steve Young is upset with. Yeah. He's, he's upset that with Uweza K that, you know, that's the idea that if you throw it short of the first down, then the receiver has to run for the first down. I always believed in the other theory is you throw it where you already have the first down because the defenses especially these nickel defenses all the players on there are very very good tacklers Thompson back to punt Sanders back deep for Dallas See, we talk about the directional punting he wants to punt it outside the numbers so you get it outside the numbers between the numbers and the sideline it's a good punt but he can return it Gets up to about the 28 yard line. Sanders always looking for that just little crease. He says there's always one there. Gary Plummer on special teams makes the stop. Food in the bay. That's Sherman Williams who has replaced Emmett Smith. So back to that Aflac question. How many rings, Super Bowl rings, does the Fox halftime announcing crew have between them? That's the same crew as the pregame and postgame show. Well, I'll give you a hint. Here's one guy right there watching. He has one. He's the guy that has one. The other guys aren't there because they had to go and get a wheelbarrow to carry theirs. So the answer, I guess, is nine then, huh? The answer is nine. But how he had his one. He he just carries him with his with him in his pocket all the time. Pretty good credentials. Here's Eggman. Irvin. Close to a first. You know, the 49ers really have a, a makeshift defense in there because we talked earlier about how Bryant Young uh, was injured, and now they're playing. Junior Bryant is playing in there. Marvin Washington is playing in there. Roy Barker has been injured, and he's out. And Chris Dolman is in there along with Kevin Green. It's a great speed, and I can beat him deep later on in the game. He goes wide right, and Aikman drops. And is decking down again from around the corner. In fact, he could have beaten him deep right there, I think, because Rod Woodson was man to man out there on Michael Irvin. I think that's where Troy Aikman was going to go, but he didn't have time for Tegelman. Aikman gives to Sherman Williams. Back to about the original line of scrimmage. Down and long. Three wide receivers set up for the Cowboys. There's a big matchup right there. Kevin Green against Eric Williams. Aikman gets it out and gets it to Irvin and gets a first for Dallas. Yeah, that's what we we're talking about. I think that Michael Irvin can work against Rod Woodson. He can do things. He can get an out. I think he can get deep. But the thing that you have to do is you have to block him. Now watch Michael Irvin is down here in the bottom. And watch this. How, how in sync they are. The minute that he makes his cut, look, he's making his cut right there, and Troy Aikman is throwing the ball. Not to where he is, but when he makes his cut, the ball is coming out of there. And the ball is going to where Michael Irvin is going to go. That's perfect timing. First and ten. Miller in motion. Aikman back. Time in 
incomplete. Goes. Top of your picture. Lafleur, the man in motion. Aikman gets to Williams. A yard, maybe. And yeah, we saw Anthony Miller on that play before trying to beat Darnell Walker. And you know, they always say that Anthony Miller has good speed, but I've never seen it in a game. I have never seen Anthony Miller ever use his speed in a game to beat anyone deep. And that's the thing that I think they were counting on today, that if, if, if they're going to double Michael Irvin, if they're going to do things to Michael Irvin, then Anthony Miller has to come up and make big plays. They say he has great speed, but he never separates. But I never, I never see him separate or outrun anyone in a game. Third and nine. Aikman has three wide receivers, two to his left, one to his right. Now in motion, Williams, Stepford. Aikman looking left, incomplete. He had to get rid of it. Good rush by the 49er defense. Miller, the intended target. And again, Aikman ends up on his back. That's that's the thing we talked to John Marshall, the defensive coordinator of the San Francisco 49ers, yesterday. He says, we're not going to do a lot of blitzing, but we know that we have to stop the run, and we have to be in Troy Aikman's face every time he throws the ball. And you can see when they do, he doesn't have a chance. When they don't do that, then he can hook up pretty well with Michael Irvin. Away is a K back. Toby going. To kick for the Cowboys. Bates in front of him controlling things. Raise a case signals Vic. Hatch makes it at the 12. Tonight is the premiere. Now will be used for parking after they get the new stadium built. Here's Steve Young. Gets it out to Brent Jones and Jones stops. After a couple of yard pickup by Kevin Smith. Great, great competitor. Chuck Levy at wide receiver now. <laughs> Young throwing it in that direction and overthrows Chuck Levy. They've been working him in the last couple of weeks at wide receiver, the 49ers have. As on the team, don't separate. Third and eight on both teams. Here's Young back to throw it. Has time. Incomplete. Almost intercepted. I tell you, this, this Dallas pass defense has been outstanding in this first half because the 49ers haven't had any place to go and they can't get any any regularity. I mean, they can get a, a play here and a play there, but they can't get anything where they can march the ball down the field and get any first down. Deion it, Sanders, excuse me. No, I, was, I was just going to say, part of it is them, but part of it is, is, is very good Dallas defense. Deion Sanders back deep. Tommy Thompson to punt it for the 49ers. Cowboys trying to set up a return for Sanders. This kick's going to hang up there for a while, and Sanders gets away from it. This Tuesday will be a big night, even a trace of a wave in the bay. Perfect, perfect day. Yeah, you know, I've said this before that this is one of the great secrets, or used to be one of the great secrets <laughs> until I've said it on national television. <laughs> the best weather in San Francisco is the end of September, October, and the beginning of November. This it's is like the summer here. Today, Eggman gives to Sherman Williams. Flag on the play back at the line of scrimmage. Williams got good yardage. That's going to be in the area of Dallas Cowboy holding. They threw it right at Eric Bjornsson. And again, it didn't come right right at the time, and it is offensive holding. It came about halfway through the development of the play. Number this is one of the things, penalties, that have really hurt the Cowboys. And he just said it's on 86, Eric Bjornsson, and that was the guy that they threw the flag right at. So it'll be first and 20. Nikki Sualua is 45. I think uh, you can tell now that when Nikki Sualua comes in, that's probably going to be a, a running play or a lead play. When Herschel Walker's in there, it's either going to be a pass or an outside play. Less than three minutes left in the first half. Aikman tosses back to Sherman Williams, who gets a couple of yards, stopped by Ken Norton. That's not a perfect situation. You get the two minute warning in 20 seconds. There is Aikman back to throw. He has a wide open.
open Michael Irvin, who steps out of bounds, stops the clock. They used five seconds. This target date is December 15th. Two tight ends set up as Aikman gets it outside. The pass is intercepted. Intended for Bjornsson. Picked off by Dr uh, Tyrone Drakeford. Yep, they call him Deuce or Double Deuce, and he was he was on Bjornsson all the way. In fact, he plays Bjornsson underneath. You watch Bjornsson is right here, and watch Drakeford here is going to sneak. You see, and he takes the interception angle because he has help deep. You see, when he has a man behind him, then then he can take that, that interception or cutoff angle. Tyrone Drakeford did it. Troy Aikman didn't see him, threw it right to him. Two minutes, one second left. You see why he can do this is because he has this. If you have someone behind you, then you can jump in front of the ball, and that's exactly what Tyrone Drakeford did. First and ten. Steve Young. Back to throw it. Swings it outside to Floyd, and Floyd goes into Dallas territory, brought down at the 48 by Kevin Smith. Turnovers are one apiece, and remember, whoever wins that turnover battle, the last eight beatings between these two has won the game. John Madden, 7 0 Dallas. He took the early lead on a touchdown pass from Aikman to Irvin. And since then, Dallas has pretty well controlled the tempo. Until Troy Aikman just threw that last interception. Yep. Floyd was the man in motion. Here's Young. Look to throw back. Young finds no one. A flag on the play. In a minute 46 left to play in the first half. 49ers have one timeout left. We just saw a shot of, of Steve Mariucci there. He's one of the few head coaches that, that, that calls his own plays. Mike Holmgren, of course. Mike Shanahan. Oh, oh, wide oh. receiver set up. Yeah, Young. Got somebody separated. Chuck Levy got coverage on Brock Marion, and if he hadn't fallen down, he's in the end zone. Well, this is kind of new. This experience of, of, of moving Chuck Levy, 30-yard pickup, and making a wide receiver out of him. They've just been working on this a couple of weeks, and they come up with a big play. Kirby to the 23-yard line of the Cowboys. Clock running. They have one timeout left. Remember. The 49ers do. The Dallas Cowboys have two. Now, anytime that the 49ers go three or four wide receivers, Terry Kirby's a running back. Young on second and five has a man in the open. It's a ways of okay. And the Cowboys scoop it up. Darren Woodson. Of all the things you ways of okay, you can't believe it. He, he had a first down. Yeah. He had a first down. He yeah. could have ran out of bounds. He had the first down. He could have run out of bounds and stopped the clock. Watch him here. Right here, Pat. He has the first down right there, and he cuts back in. And then the, when, when he cuts back in, Kevin Smith is right there. And boom, he pops him and knocks that ball out of there. And Woodson makes the recovery. Remember earlier. He yeah. caught a pass and didn't get a first down. This time he had the first down. I mean, there are times, there are times that you want to, you want to stay in bounds and you want to cut back and you want to try and make a play. But there are also times that you want to get out of bounds and stop the clock. That was the time that you wanted to get out of bounds and stop the clock. So it's first down, Dallas, three wide receivers. Aikman hands to Williams. Ken Norton coming up on the Dockers khakis halftime report Joe Buck and Bill Moss will bring you scores and highlights from around the league our Fox Sports ticker will have up to the second stats also live from San Francisco JB Terry Howie and Ronnie will have an analysis of the first half that's all next on the Dockers khakis halftime report and Norton got his hat knocked off. You know what I like about these guys? They learn their lessons. If you look, they all got their heads on straight, and, and their heads are all pointing towards the field. Remember the last time we saw them? They had their backs to the field, and they knew as football players when they played, men never, ever, ever turn your back to the field. Ronnie was the only one watching the action. Well, the he was, yeah. was kind of half half cocked watching it. I mean, well, he wasn't all the way straight. I mean, he was, he was kind of half you know, going one the big way. thing is they got their heads on straight. Well, yeah, you always you always have to have your head on straight and just keep it on straight. 
Look at that bird. He's still out there yeah. eating. Isn't that unbelievable? He didn't know anything about a blitz. Well, that's that 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 seated area. Yeah. You know, we talked about that was the the infield of the, the San Francisco baseball giants. And then after the last game that we did here, the the Ram game, uh, that infield wasn't seated. Uh -huh. And that's been seated since, so that makes some real good feed. Seated and sided. Eggman gives again. To Williams. Sherman Williams gets out to the 40 and Dallas first down, and that should take care of things in the first half. Well, Eggman's going to try for what you talked about. Here's Sherman Williams to midfield, and that's the end of the first half. This first half highlight was brought to you by 1-800-COLLECT. That's the Cowboy touchdown Aikman to Irvin. Early on, they didn't throw much to number 88. Well, you know. They'll be going to kick off for Dallas. Cowboys leading 7-0. Away to Kay and Levy back deep. Line drive kickoff is going to be handled by Away to Kay. The 24. Right now, let's go down to Pam Oliver. Pat, talk to Barry Switzer at the half about second half adjustment. As he said, the main thing he wants to do is try to get the Cowboys to set a faster tempo with some quick passes and every now and then take the 49ers deep. Back to you. Thanks, Pam. A faster tempo. Well, you know, that's one of the things that they talked about a lot last year is 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 getting in the huddle, getting up to the line of scrimmage, and getting the playoff. You know, not lagging around. A little snap, and then of course going deep. I think that's going to be Michael Irvin out there with Rod Woodson. Young gets to Hurst, who gets short yards up the middle to about the 26, a gain of about three. And this is a new thing for the 49ers: is not only running more, but running straight ahead. And you see Garrison Hurst got a little banged up running straight ahead. But the 49ers never really did that much, just run straight yep. ahead, man blocking. But now, with this big middle of the line, Ray Brown, Chris Dolman, Kevin Gogan, they can do those kinds of things. Kirby replaces Hurst, reverses his direction. Look at the block by Steve Young on Tony Tolbert. I'll tell you, of all the of all the quarterbacks in the National Football League that can make some of the plays that have been made by a quarterback today, that guy has to be Steve Young. You not only think about that block, but how about the tackle he yeah, made earlier on Deion Sanders? On, on Deion Sanders. Watch here, everything just gets banged up because of they get they get penetration. Randall Godfrey, the outside guy, comes across, gets into the backfield. He stuffs Ray Brown. That makes Kirby go the other way. And then watch Steve Young on Tony Tolbert. <laughs> but there aren't many quarterbacks. In fact, there aren't any quarterback. He is the only quarterback in the NFL that could make those two plays. Could or would. <laughs> Here he is back in the pocket. Gets it into Owens. And Owens gets to the 46 yard line. About Jerry Rice and here he is before the game and you know, you know he was they had a crowd here for the pregame show so he wanted he wanted them to say hello to him and, but but he's out there running and you know it just seems like just a couple of weeks ago that they thought he was going to be out for the entire season and now he's talking about coming back in a couple of months this is Kirby Kirby near a first down for San Francisco Yeah, this is the thing that the 49ers weren't able to do in the in the in the first half and this is what Steve Mariucci is one of those coaches that scripts the first half like a lot of teams do now but a little different in that they also script the second half so now they're working on their second half script with a few modifications and here's young play fake has time now he comes out of the pocket chased by Casillas gets the ball to Greg Clark and Clark down to the Cowboy 30. The rookie tight end from Stanford. Well, the rookie tight end from Stanford is a is a big blocker. We're talking about a guy who's 265 pounds, and his strength is a blocking. And that time, when you have a scrambling quarterback like Steve Young, 
He's going to run a bootleg. You see, he's going to fake here, then he's going to bootleg out to the left, and he's going to buy time because he can move and run and get away from things. And if he's doing that, then you also, as a receiver, have to move and run and get away from things. Garrison Hurst is back, and he'll get the carry. Hurst got blocked in front. Garrison Hurst out of bounds inside the Dallas 20, about the 19. This is a good mixture here that Steve Mariucci wanted, and that was what he didn't have in the first half. You, you know, if they are able to run the ball, they had Kirby run it, and now they bring Garrison Hurst in, and again they get him in that I formation look. And and this guy is a heck of a runner. I mean, I mean he could he can make moves to get to the line of scrimmage, moves at the line of scrimmage, and then moves once he gets beyond the line of scrimmage. Usually he lines up in the I formation, which puts him seven yards behind the center. And those extra two yards, the normal split backs are five yards back as they are now. But he can utilize those extra two when he's deep in the eye. Here's Young to throw. Kirby was the man this time. Pass is caught at the goal line by Oezeke. A yard shy. It'll be first and goal, 49ers. This is a heck of a throw by Steve Young, though, to be able to get rid of that ball. Watch how quickly he gets rid of it when he sees Uezeke in there. Right now, he's getting the pressure, even falls back a little, and throws a perfect pass in there. Because if that thing was a little later, the defender was coming across there. First and goal at the one. Some of the things that Steve Young has done in this game are amazing. Remember, he's been playing pro football 15 years. He's four for four on this drive. Fumble. Young. Gets away, he's going to keep it himself, but he's not going to get away. Back at about the eight-yard line by Shante Carver. That was a big play by Shante Carver because we're talking about Steve Young doing an amazing thing, and he almost did another I thought amazing he was going thing to right then. there. That's because he fumbles a snap coming out of there. He, that, that's his own. He, he did have the ball, fumbled it coming out of there, and then knows one thing, because he, he, he throws and runs best to his left. He is going to get out there. Of course, it wasn't a pass play, so he had no he had, he had no receivers in the end zone. It was Daryl Hardy he got, a, got away from. But Shante Carver brought him down goal to go 19 times. They've made 14 touchdowns. Second down. And a handoff. Touchdown. Touchdown. Garrison Hurst with that last surge. Having a piece. Opening moments, third quarter. Let's watch a touchdown again. Here's the knee, and here's the ball. It's where the ball is when the knee goes down, and the ball has to break the plane of the goal line, which it did. Thompson's kickoff sails to Walker. Took it at the two. Down at the 25. Garrison Hurst just scored his fifth touchdown of the year. He's only had five in his first four years. Blimp Eagle has been providing these aerial pictures. Goodyear blimps travel over 100,000 miles every year covering major sporting events. And believe me, this is a major. The 49ers and the Cowboys always mean something. And you know, at the 49ers on that last drive, Pat, they had 27 yards rushing. In the first half, they only had 35 yards rushing. And that was what they had to establish, and they did. Aikman to Sherman Williams. Oh. Emmett Smith has not returned. Williams has taken his place. And I'm sure that Emmett Smith isn't going to return because we saw him on the on the sideline. He has that that groin injury, and they tried to stretch it out, and then he tried to play again and couldn't. And then when you just sit there, it, it just tightens up, and there's no way you can play. I believe that's Tim McDonald. That is Tim McDonald. Let me clarify something I may have said a minute ago. In the first four years in the league for Garrison Hurst, he scored five touchdowns. Even though he doesn't play all the offense that he alternates with Terry Kirby, he is happy as heck to be here in San Francisco and playing for these guys. We've just been notified by the Cowboys that Emmett Smith will not return. So that growing problem will keep him out and Sherman Williams at the deep back position. If something happens to him, it'll be Walker deep. Pass complete to Bjornsson. Short of a first down, taken down by Zach Brunson. 
Yeah, the 49ers are are playing Marvin Washington now as the left defensive end. And on that play, they ran one of those zone blitzes, you know, where a defensive lineman comes in and then he drops out. And that's what Marvin Washington did on that last play. Watch, he's a defensive end. You think he's going to rush? He stops and he comes back out. And that's what they call the zone blitz. They can blitz. And then the zone part of it is a defensive lineman dropping in a zone. Here's Aikman back to throw. As time and hits Michael Irvin on the ground, perfectly timed, perfectly thrown. Nobody else is going to catch it. Uh, that's the thing. Any 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 time you talk about this guy and Troy Aikman, it's going to be perfectly timed. I mean, these guys know each other. They can feel each other. And and Michael Irvin doesn't need a whole heck of a lot of opening for Troy Aikman to get that ball in there. And I think that's what he was talking about. And he was frustrated in the in the first part of the yeah. game that he felt that he has Rod Woodson out there man to man on him, and he can beat Rod Woodson if you just throw it to him. And I believe he can. Yeah, but you have to pass protect too. Yep. Yeah. Now step Fred Williams in motion. Aikman going deep. Miller. Anthony Miller. Down inside the 10 to about the 6. And Anthony Miller got that step and he got yep. that separation. I said he's supposed to have speed. And I've never seen him get a step or separation. He did that time on Darnell Walker. And he got a perfect throw from Aikman. Aikman. Here's Walker up there. You see now he's not separated, not separated, not separated. He gets a little push and right there he gets a separation. Yep. And when he got that separation, the ball was perfectly thrown by Troy Aikman. He's Darnell Walker has been on Anthony Miller all day and had great coverage on him. But that time, Miller did separate. First and goal at the six. And the handoff is to Williams, who scoots down to about the two. And a little uh, shoving match breaks out between Eric Williams. Yeah, and his, his ex-teammate, that's Ken Norton Jr. No, I think I think those two guys were teammates. I think they know uh, who could beat whom and that they, they forgot about they being got teammates. Any I think I think the deep in their hearts they know what would happen. But Ken I, Norton is a is a is a real active scrappy guy and of course he's friends with all these guys but when it comes to this rivalry I'll guarantee you there aren't any friends. Second goal. Especially on the goal line. Three tight ends. Too soon. They so didn't get in. He got a good block oh, by Nate Newton, though. I mean, Nate Newton just collapsed his part of the line, and that's where that, that's where Sherman Williams tried to dive. Nate Newton did give him something to dive over. I'll say that. Well, he is something to dive over. Well, yeah, but watch him fire out. Here's Nate Newton here. When you get, you got to stay low and you got to fire. And watch him come and watch him fire out right now. I mean, the ball snapped. You see that? I mean, he just collapsed his guy, and that was exactly what Sherman Williams jumped over. Third and goal of the one. Williams in the backfield. Didn't make it to the line of scrimmage. Stubblefield got the penetration. Great goal line defense. No lead by the fullback either. Everyone got stuffed. Not only the back. But watch, they get in the eye formation and the fullback to lead right there. See Ken Norton stuff him? Ken Norton comes in and stuffs the stuffer. It's supposed to be Nick, Nicky Sualua is supposed to get it. Norton takes on the blocker, Sualua, and throws him right back into the running back. That A sight that's become dreaded almost in Dallas. The field goal team on. Well, Eric Williams fired up Ken Norton Jr. and Ken Norton Jr. stuffed that thing. Cunningham's field goal is good, and the Cowboys lead 10 7. Great goal line play. Chuck Levy returns the kickoff for the 49ers. It is slung to the ground by Darren Woodson. And a flag on the play. 4 14 left to play in the third quarter. Dallas 10, San Francisco 7. Pat Summerall with John Madden. The 49ers have the ball. That's guaranteed. For about seven. This game summary coming up brought to you by Bud Light. Emmett Smith out of the game with a groin injury. Steve Young, 12 out of 18, 138 yards, one interception. Turnovers, 
San Francisco's had two, Dallas one. Points off turnovers, Dallas seven, San Francisco none. And of course, we still had that great goal line defense from the 49ers. In fact, you know, there hasn't been a rushing touchdown scored against the 49ers. Hurst. First down. Right now for a McDonald. Fred Lane, where did he come from? He I don't know, but he got some <laughs> practiced moves. I know it. He scored three touchdowns. One of them was a great run. I mean, one of them. I saw him earlier. He, he ran through like seven tacklers. Hurst on first down gets about five or six. Stopped by Casillas. Russell. This is William Floyd on the inside handoff, taking his feet out to near the 30. Oh, bar none. There's a there's a guy. Remember when he was he was drafted? His agent said he's the he's the best fullback in the draft, bar none. So. All the veteran 49ers at the time named him Bar None, and he still goes by that, by Bar or None or BN or, or whatever, <laughs> whatever you want. But but here's a guy who loves to play football. But there's some guys that you know they're are, you know you describe him, this guy's a good runner, yep. he's a good tackler, he's a good blocker, and some guys are just good football players. He enjoys being introduced. <laughs> he gets fired up about it. Third and three. Flag on the play. Yeah. Pass is picked off one-handed by Deion Sanders, but there's a penalty marker on the play. Sanders goes by everybody, goes out of bounds. A penalty marker at the beginning of the play. The Cowboys, I believe, were offside. I think that was one of those plays where the quarterback knows that he has a free play because the Cowboys move before the ball was snapped, so, so he could do it. So offside. maybe Steve Young takes advantage. Offside. Defense number 98. Five-yard penalty. First down. That interception. I tell you, Deion Sanders still made a great play. I mean, one-handed, yeah. left-handed interception. But I don't know that Steve Young didn't know that. You know, that didn't see that the guy jumped, knew that, that he had a free play and was going to take a chance to try and force something in there. And that's the only way maybe that you ever want to throw on Deion Sanders is when that the when the defense has a penalty and you're getting a free play. You think he was just teasing him? I think I think he could have just been teasing him. Or embarrassed because he was a guy that jumped off sides uh -huh. on the play that Deion Sanders intercepted. On first down, it's Hurst. And Garrison Hurst close to another 49er first down. Garrison Hurst has moves on moves, doesn't he? Yeah. I mean, he just gets out there and he doesn't he doesn't just wait to make them. I mean, he has both guards pulling. Here's old Gogan and here's big old Ray Brown. He gets in behind Gogan and he just waits and waits and waits for him, then makes him throw, and then then he has to make his move finally. You, know, you get in behind a big guard like Godfrey, who is their normal Sam or strong side linebacker, will become their middle linebacker. Will get enough for the 49er first down. Dave Campo has really had to, is having to as the game progresses and people get shaken. Yeah, here's Dave Campo right here in the end. And of course, you, the defensive coordinator, you have to call all the defenses, the fronts, the coverages, the blitzes, and then also remember who you have in Who's there. Who's in the play, yeah. And then when you get injuries, you have to make those adjustments. So, it's probably a lot easier way up here where they are than than, than down in the field trying to do that. It can get a little confusing now. Strickland down there. has come back in now. And that's the end of the third quarter with the score. Dallas 10, San Francisco 7. Fox NFL Sunday will continue after these messages and the word from your local Fox station. This was their first real test. And it's been a real test. Young is swamped. By Casillas. Yeah, Tony Casillas was coming in there. He wasn't. He wasn't going to go for any fake or anything. He's just. He's just getting the penetration. And you're going to see Casillas. He just runs right through here, and the guards pull the other way. Casillas doesn't go with him. He starts to go, and then he says, "Uh oh, there's number eight. I better get this guy." Twelve years will teach you a few things. Well, I think somehow Steve Young didn't get the handoff there. Three wide receiver set up. Young handoff to Terry Kirby. 
gets about five. That'll bring up third and long. Well, the, the 49ers in that third quarter were able to run the ball. They came out and they 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 run for 58 yards. The Cowboys only ran for for five yards in that third quarter. And you know we can talk about passing and quarterbacks and all that, but it's still to win championships you have to have a quarterback. I believe that, but you have to be able to run and to stop the run. Over the long haul, that's always been true. Young back to throw it. And complete right at the feet of Darren Woodson. Brent Jones, the intended receiver. John standing back at about the 14 yard line. Tommy Thompson to punt it. Cowboys will set up a return or try to for Dion at the 10. With a 32, he, he can do some running, can't he? He is exciting. Randy Kirk, who snapped it, again made the tackle. 13.43 left in the fourth. Pat Summerall, John Madden, we're in San Francisco. Bill Walsh in attendance. The resident genius is here. Well, there's a site that we've been accustomed to watching yeah. in San Francisco. Looks for good. So many years. Looks great. Hey, he should look great. He's not coaching. <laughs> Fires going deep. Pass is juggled by Michael Irvin. Woodson covering. Yeah, that's been a heck of a battle all yep. day because, you know, we talked about it earlier how they're both physical guys. You know, Michael Irvin is a physical receiver, and and Rod Woodson is a very physical corner. So they're they've been out there bumping and shoving and pushing and and you know you know covering each other and trying to beat each other all day. This is really has been a game within a game or. A heck of a battle within a battle, these two guys, because they're two of the best in the game. And back Rod Woodson, remember they had yeah. that 75-year, uh, all 75-year team, and all time Woodson, team, yeah. all time. Rod Woodson was on that team. The pitch is back to Sherman Williams, and he gets a couple. It will bring up third and long. Third and about eight. Emmett Smith. He pulled a groin earlier and uh, and they tried to stretch it out and he went back in there and it didn't work then they took him in and tried to retape it and, and that didn't work so once once you stop moving and stop stretching on that thing then the whole leg is going to tighten up it is not going to loosen up no third and eight Stepford Williams one of the wide receivers they've gone to him on third down situations Bjornsson's a man in motion. Stafford Williams. That's close. That's going to be very close. That's one of those things that's going to depend on the spot. Darnell Walker. Where that official puts his foot and then where he puts the ball on where he puts his foot. They're going to measure. We talked about Stafford Williams is really, is really coming into his own. And, you know, Troy Aikman, when he gets confidence in a guy, he's going to go to that guy and. Troy Aikman's third down guy right now is Stratford Williams. Dana Stubblefield likes it. Yeah, that's why you know you get a young receiver and they learn like a Stratford Williams on that third down. You're not going to run for it. You better get beyond that first down marker when you catch the ball. And ways a K back deep. He'll be going to punt it for Dallas. 10-7, the Cowboys lead, and the clock running. 12 and a half minutes left. coverage teams led that time by Charlie Williams again an excellent job Steve Young gives to Garrison Hurst a yard maybe well, I know what the Cowboys have to be thinking of now remember last week they had Philadelphia pretty well contained in the in the first half and then the, the Eagles came out in the second half and, and really ran well against them and you look in fact here it is right here Last week in the second half, the Eagles gained 131 yards rushing in the second half. A little of that is starting today. 63 yards rushing in the second half, only 35 in the first half. Second and seven. Stokes in motion. 
Young back to throw. To William Floyd, who just lowered his head and got the 49er first down. Yeah, that's the thing you like about, you know, we talk about William Floyd and about being a football player and knowing, you know, I mean, being very aware, know where you are when you catch a ball, know where the first down marker is, and just get down, get underneath, get those shoulders up, get whatever you have to do to get that first down. Good protection for Young. First and ten, Young throws it back to Garrison Hurst. Who won't get much. Point Cowboy lead, 10-7 at San Francisco. Second and nine. Floyd on the move. Here comes a blitz. Young and the 49ers pick it up. Get the ball to Hurst. Hurst gets out to the 41. Fred Strickland close by. And it was Fred Strickland who made the tackle. You know, one thing we talked about with, with Jerry Rice out, how this 49er offense has gone where they throw to a bunch of different guys. I think they've thrown to seven different guys today in this in this game. And that's that's the thing that is really tough to defend. I mean, you just can't say, well, you know, you know we have to take away Stokes, we have to take away Owens or Clark or whatever, because Steve Young will go anywhere and everywhere with the ball. Third and four, four wide receivers, Cowboys short blitz. Let's successfully make him hurry. Pass is knocked down, and the 49ers will have to punt. Shante Carver got a hand up and knocked it away. Jump up and get in the lane. There's Bill Bates who put the heat on Steve Young and made him hurry. And Thompson will kick Deion Sanders that's been close to breaking. Thompson kicking away from him, trying directional kicking. Sanders fields it at the sideline and steps out of bounds at the 15 16 yard line make it 937 left in San Francisco Dallas 10 the 49ers 7 Dallas ball at their own 16 yard line wide left is Miller to the right is Irvin Sualua is the up back I believe that's Orville Walker that's Sean Williams not much you want to see what the problem with the Cowboys running this year is? It's their center, really. I mean, Clay Shiver doesn't have any size on him. And and you talk about a guy just getting stuck. Now watch what happens to the center. He's just going to get hit and knocked right into the backfield. And if your center gets knocked backwards like that, you don't, you don't have a chance. Watch 50 come flying back there. And when your center ends up back here, and he's supposed to be, you know, pushing off the line of scrimmage, you don't have much of a chance to run inside. And that's been a problem for him all year. And the absence of the moose back there doesn't help. Here's Aikman chased. Chase still and throws it away. He was almost sacked. Wisely got it out of there. Yep, and that's that rule again that we saw Steve Young use wisely a number of times that, that a quarterback, if he's in the pocket, can't throw the ball away to avoid a sack. But if he gets outside the area where the tight ends would be lined up, he can throw it away. So Troy Aikman, before he could throw it away, he had to get to the outside. Then he could throw it away as long as he throws it back beyond the line of scrimmage. Third and long. Three wide receivers. Aikman retreats. He is chased and sacked by Stubblefield. Dana Stubblefield, the first 49er there, takes him down inside the five. And that's what the 49ers were saying yesterday, that they weren't going to do a lot of blitzing, but they wanted to do stunning. Now watch Dana Stubblefield. He starts here, and then he comes this way, and you get a cross in there between the tackle. Watch Stubblefield. See, so he starts up. Now watch him loop to the outside. Then he comes off. No one picks him up, and he has a straight shot at Troy Aikman. That's what you call a twins, where the two tackles just cross on their pass rush. The other tackle was Junior Bryant, who occupied two blockers, did a good job. He didn't get there, but he did a good job. Here's a short kick by Golan. Takes a bounce, a 49er bounce, and the 49ers will take over at the 33-yard line. There's a flag on the play, however, back at the line of scrimmage. Well, you know, you always talk about momentum and how big it is and how you can change it. You can just feel it changing to the 49ers right now. Holding 
Number 51 on the receiving team. After the kick. 10-yard penalty. After the kick. First down. That's Ken Norton. So the 49ers will lose 10, but it'll still be their ball first down. It's presented by authority of the National Football League. It's intended for the private use of our audience. Any rebroadcast or other use of this telecast without the express written consent of the San Francisco 49ers. And the NFL is prohibited. Here's Steve Young to Garrison Hurst. And Hurst inside the 35 where he's down there. Big old Gogan has a good sweat going on down there, doesn't he? Let me tell you, that is a large sweat, well, too. Yeah, I know, but when you take a guy like that and you, you know, he's 330 pounds and you start making a pulling guard out of him, he's gonna he's gonna get sweat coming out of places <laughs> that normally sweat doesn't come out of. He hasn't pulled too many times until he got here. No, he didn't pull a lot, of course, with the Dallas Cowboys. Yeah. He played. They were a straight ahead team. He didn't pull a lot with the Raiders. Then he came here and he's pulling all the time. It's hers. That's a first down for the 49ers. Right now, let's return to Joe Buck in San Francisco. They'll measure for the first down. It's inside the 30. And it is a first down. Garrison Hurst. He's added another dimension to this 49er attack. Yeah, a, a dimension that really goes well with Steve Young because when before they had Garrison Hurst and then after they lost R Ricky Waters, Steve Young was not only obviously their best quarterback, he was also their best running back. And one of their fastest running backs. And off this to Garrison Hurst, and he did well to get back to the 30, not back to the line of scrimmage, as Shante Carver made the penetration. Anderson made the stop. I think Dexter Coakley was in there too because they really the pressure comes right here and they and they get in the backfield before the 49ers have a chance to start. Here's Dexter Coakley. He's 50. He made it change direction. He got in there and he hit William Floyd about five yards in the backfield and William Floyd was the lead blocker. Second and 11. That was a Ken Norton type play. Young to throw it. Has time. Goes deep. He's got somebody open. It's Stokes. Stokes is down at the one foot line. What a catch. What a grab by J.J. Stokes. As Steve Young said, you never know who the star is going to be. And Kevin Smith has played so well today. He's He's been all over everything. But if you're going to work on someone, like I said, you're not going to go to Deion Sanders. You're going to go to the other side. So they put J.J. Stokes over there on Kevin Smith. J.J. Stokes just gets what about a, a half a step. Watch him. You see, he beats him there on the line of scrimmage. Gets by him on the line of scrimmage, and he maintained that half a step all the way down to the goal line. If he's not 6'5", he doesn't make that catch. First and goal with the one. End zone untouched. Oops, we got all kinds of stuff going on. Flags there. flying yeah. everywhere. Tempers. Good block oh, by Kurt Scrafford on a Stop touchdown it. by Floyd. Five yards. But Repeat most of it was shot. running by Floyd. And again, that 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 JJ Stokes, where 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 he beat that was on the line of scrimmage. When he got by Kevin Smith on the line of scrimmage. Here's a touchdown again. You see that Garrison Hurst block? Yeah. You know, that's that's the thing that that the 49ers first liked when they got Garrison Hurst. They saw him and they liked that he was a tough guy and a good blocker. Don't leave. And he's a tough runner. For the extra point, Thompson. Uh, Anderson, excuse me, not Thompson. Here's the catch again. That's, that's, that's certainly worth another look. There's where he beat him right there. Yep. On those first couple of steps. What a catch by Stokes. 14 to 10, the crowd on their feet. Amazing what a camera does, isn't it? I tell you, but the crowd's been waiting all day yep. for this, Pat, for the 49ers to get ahead because right now they're giving the 49er team a standing ovation. I think that, you know, you know these people love their 49ers and they started this 7-1. They said, well, they haven't played anyone and they don't know if they're really that good, but they are really that good. 14 to 10, they have just taken the lead. 
Not Thompson who kicks off with one shoe off and one shoe on. Herschel Walker back deep along with Brock Marion. Thompson's kick sailing to Walker at the four. He dropped the ball, got it now. And Herschel Walker chased and shoved out of bounds at about the six-yard line. Boy, that hurts. I don't know if it's that neck brace or what, but that's the that's second one that Herschel Walker dropped today. And Herschel Walker normally doesn't drop kickoff. But he got that big neck thing on it. Yep. I don't know that you can move. You know, you have to move your head back to look up. Well, you know, he couldn't get his hands up a couple of times last week against Philadelphia. I don't know that that doesn't hit him. Watch this. I don't know that he can get his head all the way back. This could have hit him right in the face mask because he has his hands in pretty close. It did. I don't know if it did. It did. It was awfully close. Yeah, you know, we talked about the momentum being changed. The guy that changed the momentum in this game was Dana Stubblefield on that pass rush and the sack of Troy Aikman. First down, Cowboys at the nine. Now a step for Williams in motion. Here's Aikman. Looking for some place to go, coming around the corner, chased by Lee Woodall and knocked out of bounds by Woodall. That's out of bounds. It was almost knocked to Burling game. Bjornsson on the move. Aikman straight back, looking left, throws. Caught by Herschel Walker. As he swung out of the backfield. Didn't quite get enough for a first down. Well, they finally doubled Dana Stubblefield because he was the guy that was given the problems. You remember the time the Cowboys had the ball, the, the play before he got the sack. He, he he rushed Aikman to play before here. Now here's Stubblefield here, and you just go boop and boop and stop him right on the line of scrimmage because I think they can handle the rest of the guys if they can stop that middle, and that's the way to do it. Third and one. Sherman Williams, the deep back. And the handoff, there's a flag on the play as Sherman Williams got close. Don't know if he got it, but there's a penalty marker down. I think Herschel Walker was a lead blocker, which he didn't do a very good job of blocking on, but I also I also think he left early. Let's see. Bob McElwee will let us know. And then he went running off the field after the play, too. Illegal, illegal motion. By number 34. We're You're going right. to measure to see if it's a first down. Yeah, here's Herschel Walker right here, and you're going to see a little movement. But for, see right there, just before the ball is snapped, and then he goes in there and doesn't do a very good job of blocking either, because the whole thing is stuffed, and Sherman Williams has to cut back to the inside. They're going to measure for the first down. Now they'll decline the penalty, I'm sure, and the Cowboys will be forced to punt it. Yeah, with four minutes and 33 seconds. Oasis K back deep for Toby Goins' punt. The 49ers don't put any pressure on him. Oasis K fields it at the 38, straight up the middle. Still on his feet. Is he? Away is a K, and he's inside the 30 down to the 28 yard line. Toby going, the punter knocked him out of bounds. Look at the celebration there. He's getting the heck beat out of him by, by his coach, that's, by the other player, by Lee Woodhall. That, it's that special uh, team coach. Yeah, by Coach Stewart. The whole thing, they just beat the heck out of the poor guy. Look at him there. I mean, they're hitting and loving and hugging and dancing. Look at Tim McDonald. Oh. What the heck's going on down there? Niners at the Dallas 28. And again, it all started with Dana Stubblefield. George Stewart is the coach that was involved, special team coach. Straight ahead handoff to Garrison Hurst to about the 25. He's still playing. Yeah. <laughs> Today's game's being produced by Bob Stinner and directed by Sandy Grossman. Associate directors Mike Roig, the broadcast associates Fran Morrison and Charles McDonald, technical producers Bob Muller. Technical director Joe Abenda and the audio Bob Siderman. Studio was produced by Scott Ackerson. Directed by Bob Levy. Senior producer is Bill Brown. The executive producers of Fox Sports are Ed Gorin and David Hill. We've got a lot of people around.
Yeah, Barry Switzer is thinking there that he's going to take a timeout now, and and what they have to do with a score 14 to 10, they just they just have to try and, and hold the 49ers off to a field goal here, because if the if the 49ers score a touchdown, then the Cowboys are going to need two scores. If they can hold them to a field goal, then they can tie them with a touchdown. Steve Young has been over on the sideline checking with the new head coach, Steve Mariucci. Boy, you can really, you're talking to him, you can see Mariucci just getting more confident, getting more sure of yeah. what I'm he's really, doing. I'm really impressed with the job that he did. I mean, when you have your opening game and, and you lose your quarterback to a concussion and you lose the best wide receiver who ever played the game for the season, and then you come back and you win seven in a row, you've done something. We're blitzing. Hurst nearing 100 yards on the day. Behind Floyd. Gets and Hurst to the 15. That should put him right at 100. And there's the guy who started it. I think that, you know, the, the, the Cowboys had a little momentum. They had things going, they had things under control. Dana Stubberfield got that sack, then it was a bad punt, then the 49ers got good field position, and J.J. Stokes beat Kevin Smith. And of course, they scored the touchdown. Made a heck of a catch. Dana Stubblefield is huge. You know, we talk about the, you know, having big wide receivers and, oh. and Terrell Owens, <laughs> how strong he is. Yeah. I mean, he just took Deion Sanders and just put him down. <laughs> Make Deion Sanders talk to someone. Applaud someone. But you know, when when you have big wide receivers, you know, obviously, you know, as receivers are big targets, but you get a lot of other advantages where you know, you know, just blocking and especially blocking on outside running plays. Sanders. Hurst. Garrison Hurst. Just shy of the 10. That's the sixth 100-yard game of his career. This one is. It's the third one he's had this year for the 49ers, and like I said earlier, he found a home. Here you look. Deion Sanders has kind of had enough of Terrell Owens, so he was <laughs> he was going to whack him. You see, he took a swing at him with his left hand, and I think he missed him early and you know, had a serious injury in his first year, and wondered if maybe he shouldn't have stayed in college another year, but. He said, now I love it all. Third and about three. Garrison Hurts. He is taken down by Darren Woodson. And that was a big, big play because now the 49ers do have to go for the field goal. And if they make the field goal, then of course the Cowboys are still within a touchdown. Thompson will hold. Watch Darren Woodson here. You know, you talk about good football players oh, yeah. and true warriors. I mean, he's playing with a bad leg, and the and the Dallas Cowboys needed a big defensive play there, and their big defensive play guy came up with it. Gary Anderson, 16 out of 18. This one's from 28 yards away. And it's good. And it's the 49ers 17. The Cowboys 10. 15 straight field goals for Gary Anderson. I think they have to get Herschel Walker out of there, and they and they did. And then you're wondering, well, who's going to be his replacement? And and Deion Sanders as a kick returner when you need a big play isn't <laughs> yeah. a bad guy to have back there. I wouldn't be surprised if uh, Tommy Thompson doesn't bounce this kickoff. Yeah, or, or somehow, you know, I'm sure he's looking at Deion Sanders back there and knows he's there and is. Going to somehow keep it away from him, but I mean, you would know more about it than me. But I would, I would think when you kick, you just have to let it go and get as much of it as you can. Well, that's what he does. You don't know where it's going. Yeah, Sanders. Leon yeah. out of bounds, stops the clock at about the 25 yard line. And the 49ers. Three wide receiver set up. Aikman to Irvin. 
Pass complete. He's out of bounds. Two minute warning stops the clock. About a six yard gain. Dallas out of timeout, second and four. You don't think this is big for a coach? <laughs> <laughs> or a player? Eggman gets it. To Stepford Williams, and that'll move the sticks. Cowboys hurry up. Clock doesn't stop. Eggman yelling the play. Now the Cowboys have plenty of time. 49ers were a little too loose. Here's it. Williams. Stepford. Stopped by Tim McDonald. They keep him in bounds. And now time has to be a concern as the clock continues to run. The Cowboys lined up. Aikman yelling the play all of a sudden. And the 49ers are in their prevent defense, but you know they don't they have to prevent a touchdown. They don't have to worry about a field goal. Aikman. Pass is deflected by McDonald. We got his hand out intended for Stepford Williams. The 49ers are playing very loose in this prevent defense and this is one of those things now that that the prevent defense if it works you never hear about it. Yeah. If it doesn't work then you get criticized for playing a prevent defense. Why did you do that. Right. The only thing a prevent defense prevents is prevention from winning. But right now if you look at this 49er defense and you see how soft they are in that secondary. They are in a prevent defense. Very soft. The two safety men about 20 yards deep. Eric Williams steps into the backfield. Ball start, Ball number start. 79 offense. Penalty. Against Dallas. Well, that's just and that's just a foolish mistake. Yeah, it is because and it and it, and it makes an eight yard thing. I mean they were like third and three and and that's in this offense the way the Cowboys play that would be very easy for them to pick up. Now they get in third and longer. They're going to get a bigger pass rush and then this is a lot more difficult situation than previous one. Third and nine. Eggman back. His protection holds up. His pass is complete. To Anthony Miller. Anthony Miller is saying get up there in the line of scrimmage and just spike the ball. Less than a minute. Aikman says get down I'm going to spike it and he does. Stops the clock with 54 seconds left. See that boys have moved to the 49 or 40 yard line. The, this is a this is the thing that when Anthony Miller is out here and he gets the first down now you can spike it. Excuse me Anthony Miller's right there and he picks up the first down. He knows that he has a first down. Now he gets as far as he can and gets down and know that you can spike it because it's first down. You can waste it down. It doesn't make any difference if it's first and ten or second and ten. Second and ten after the spike. Aikman retreats. Going deep. Oh, my God. Oh, there's a penalty. They're going to throw flag on the play. I saw that official pad and he. And he went there and he went to pull it and then he pulled it back in and then he threw it out. He couldn't get it out of his pocket, but he did. Boy, this is a oh, big call. Wow. They're both arguing on every one of these things is offense no or foul. defense. No we foul. Have feet tangled, no foul. Feet oh, tangled. Feet tangled, no foul. Ooh, I'm not sure exactly I what that is. Never heard that before. Feet tangled. Well, here it is right here. And you see. Michael Irvin again starts to get by him, but good coverage here by Rod Woodson. Now what they're going to say, you see, he pushes him a little there, but they said it wasn't the push that knocked Michael Irvin down, that it was the feet got tangled up. And we can watch the feet get tangled up. Now was it the hand on the shoulder? Or not? He did have his hand on his shoulder. I don't know about that. And I don't know what the official saw when he threw that flag. If he thought it was feet entangled then he shouldn't have thrown the flag that one we're going to see a lot of yeah I mean I mean the ball's in the air and he does touch him now that is yep. a penalty yep that is pass interference that's the rule by rule it certainly is here yeah. is Aikman think, starting Williams in motion I think that official called it and someone talked him out of it Eric Williams jumped again moved on the right side not jumped just backed up third, third down 
Eric Williams is having problems, but I know what it is. You know, you know, he's trying to get get off on the count, and the crowd is so loud that he can't hear it, so he's anticipating. And when you're an offensive lineman and you anticipate, you're going to get in trouble. That's Michael Irvin. At and that first, penalty? At, at first, he knew it was a penalty. He thought that won him the game, and then, and then when he heard that tied the game, and then when he didn't get it, he had that other reaction. And he took his helmet off. That could have been called a penalty. Here's Aikman retreating. And the pass is picked off. Aikman's pass picked off by Tim McDonald, and Aikman's on the bottom of that pile making the stop. The late with Clay Shiver and the turnover. Takes the chance away. I'll tell you, this 49er defense battled them all day. The offense battled them all day, but they... Stop anything, they're out of timeouts. Cowboys' record will be 4-5. and five. The 49ers will be 8-1. and one. The Giants are 6-3 and three in the NFC East. Dallas 4-5. Philadelphia depends on what happens with their game with Arizona. Washington won. They're 5-4. and four. It was one heck of a game. Eric Williams is standing there. He he can't believe it. Can't believe that they are, are so good and have been so good and for so long. Four and five. Yep. Play of the game is brought to you by Energizer. And what else could it be but that sensational catch by J.J. Stokes? Like we said, J.J. Stokes won that battle right there. And then he got the step or two. And Steve Young led him perfectly. That wasn't the touchdown, but they scored their touchdown on the next play. These fans are still going wild here. William Floyd scored the touchdown. Stick with us because there are a lot of scores to update you on from around the league, and they'll do that on the postgame show when we come back. 